Petrovic and Mudrik sent Chelsea through to the semi-finals in the Carabao Cup by beating Newcastle on nervous penalties and uh, I'm so happy for the boys for Pochettino that they managed to find a way to win and go through because this will be important for us going forward our moral will be lifted massively after this and it just feels so nice being a Chelsea fan and uh, waking up and you're buzzing you're happy the day after because usually it's a Chelsea mistake that has been happening that has led to that we have lost or we have just been performing so bad and uh, Pochettino has done some crazy management that you're angry about and finally it was an opposition player in Trippier making an absolute blunder where it was only a couple of minutes left of the game and that helped Mudrik to to score that goal and uh, that boosted all moral into the penalties. So thanks God it was another player and not a Chelsea player this time. But when the game was starting in the first half we looked a little bit iffy. We looked nervous. We misplaced a lot of passes which eventually Newcastle capitalized on from our Callum Wilson that was alert on uh, a mistake to happen and it started with that Colwell passing the ball wrong. He was gonna pass it to Caicedo. Newcastle going on a counter and then some way the ball finds to Thiago Silva and Badia Chile. Badia Chile is trying to dribble uh, as a lost man, loses possession, fumbles it and Callum Wilson uh, uh, puts in 1-0 to Newcastle by capitalizing on that mistake. The thing I have been stressing in recent match reviews is that I have a problem that we're not trying to play with big margins. Uh, you don't, I personally don't think you have to dribble and pass your way through every single time in every situation. Sometimes it's just better to clear the ball away. And that's something that maybe Pochettino has to tell the players. Or the players will learn it eventually with more experience. I mean this is another quarter final experience they got now uh, under the belt because these guys is very young and they are going to have to learn the way now but the Chile maybe learn the hard way this time but from now on we hopefully don't see those type of mistakes and he can play with bigger margins but we misplaced a lot of passes throughout that first half especially and could it go come down to that the players were nervous what's the Pochettino not setting us up, up us uh, correctly I could agree on that too uh, and uh, we were just lucky also that Caicedo didn't get sent off after just a few minutes because that tackle was really naughty on Gordon. We had Enzo coming off because apparently he had stomach problems but there are reports in Argentina saying he has growing a chronic growing injury too. What's true I don't know maybe Pochettino said he was ill to protect him. So uh, we will see what's going to happen next game if he's starting then. First off, I thought it looked okay. We created a couple of dangerous chances. And uh, Gallagher hitting the bar from a curl shot outside the box. And it is 1-0 to Newcastle into the half time. And then in the second half where it begins, we see that we're slightly getting better and better and better. The tempo is getting better. The pass is, going, is looking better. And we're starting to gain momentum into the game. And it wasn't until uh, Pochettino brought in Nkunku for the last 20 minutes. Which all fans have been waiting for. It wasn't until he brought in fullbacks in Malagusta and Matsen That we can could really strangle Newcastle in their own half. By just dominating with possession. We were winning balls everywhere to recycle them possession. And continue to attack. We were putting in crosses, having shots. Creating decent chances and as we said finally we got uh, an opposition player making a blunder and Mudrik was alert and he was quick there to take a shot on goal and it's 1-1. Everyone is busting inside Stamford Bridge. I mean we have been a little bit unfortunate on some occasions so it was time that the luck went in our way. And then it goes to penalties. And I felt pretty confident we were going to win the penalties because we had just scored 1-1. And 
and that boosted the moral in and belief into all the players and that kind of dragged down the moral on Newcastle side and that Trippier uh, mistake was kind of in his head. I mean, he missed the goal completely on the penalties and we managed to score four uh, and the last penalty Newcastle were going to shoot. Petrovic made a stunning save and becomes the hero of the day together with Mihailo. And Mudrik, so I'm so happy with the boys. It's good to see them afterwards smiling, buzzing, uh, just yeah, it was a really good feeling now, and this is what we can actually start building up on. However, however, I don't want to go away from how Pochettino was setting us up. Now, I talked in my match preview that I wanted wanted i thought we were gonna see four center backs and i explained how i would like us to set up them more in a four triple two formations and we can both be more narrow or go out wide depending what new cost is but from now on i, I want to see full backs at least minimum one full backs i don't know what pochettino got against martin and uh, is he not preferring him as a full back is he seeing him more as a winger but Sometimes you maybe have to sacrifice what you want to do and do what is best for the actual squad. You don't want to use Matsen, but even though if you were to play him, it would help the fluid in our attack even better. Like Mudrik or Sterling, whoever plays a left winger, would have a fullback supporting him. Uh, if you don't like Martin, you sell him and then you bring in on another left back in January. But for now on, if this is the best for the squad, I think you should still use him. Uh, Gusto should be able to start from now on. And uh, we got Wolves on Sunday, so hopefully we see two fullbacks starting. Uh, and uh, if Martin has a shocking performance, then I get we br bring in Levi Colby there. Uh, but I think we will get so much more out of the team. I think we would just look way more balanced. Uh, I get that they didn't start now against Newcastle because they are not match fit, match sharp enough to maybe play 90 minutes, but they should be do be that now uh, against the uh, Wolves. And I think we push limit us so much with just playing uh, more centre backs. Uh, that's just uh, how I'm feeling. You're probably agreeing that as well. And, Let's go then into some more player performances. In terms of my man of the match, I have to give it to Conor Gallagher. This time, Pochettino used him more like a, a segundo volante, where he can be a box-to-box -box midfielder assisting in attack, but he can also come back and having more defensive duties. And I think that maybe suits him more actually because then he can help cover more ground throughout the whole midfield and out wide. He can help Caicedo. He is the one that dictates in controlling tempo together with his center backs. And Gallagher just putting in so many crucial interceptions, tackles. He's very physical. Sometimes he can be too reckless in tackles, but sometimes you have to take a foul if the opposition go on a counter attack and just take that yellow card. Uh, we know his weaknesses, I know he's not the most fluid or silky player in the final third. He maybe doesn't do the right decisions there. But it's alright, I think this Segundo Volante role suits him better or if you're gonna use him as a ball winning midfielder. Slash box to box somewhere there, I think that suits him more. And then if we're playing a 4-3-1, the number 10 can be a more shadow striker like in Kunku or Chukwameka. But it's just unfortunate they got injured and have been out now for months so Pochettino couldn't use them in the way he wanted to. And some people are arguing that he doesn't know how to use Enzo Fernandez. Um, I can understand that to some extent. But maybe he has experimented a little bit with Enzo just because we haven't had fullbacks fit. Uh, but now we have that and if we're using Enzo now and having fullbacks playing he should be getting more out of Enzo because he shouldn't be attacking or operating in those lateral uh, spaces of the pitch. Um, overall I thought that Thiago Silva looked fantastic as well, very calm. There's a reason why we called him O Monstro and that the guy can play every third day is just absolutely crazy. He has some insane uh, working routine, eating routine, all that sort of stuff. 
uh, that helps him still being sharp and fit. Uh, he's continuously making good decisions, etc. I thought Cole Palmer looked pretty good. The Sassig, Caicedo had an alright game. Um, I thought Jackson were looking alright. Bro, yeah, I know it's gonna take time for him. I mean, the guy has been out injured. I will give him a couple of more games, you know. We'll give him some slack. Um, Mudrik, fantastic. That goal meant a lot to him. He needs that. And as we continuously saying, he is very raw on the pitch. He is raw, but he needs development. Um, he needs a bit of patience. So... Uh, that's just my opinion all over the match what I'm thinking I'm taking those three points that's all what matters um, I won't get too complacent we shouldn't get that either we should celebrate this win but we should start be working now in training and look forward to the Wolves and try to do even uh, better so uh, let me know your thoughts and opinions and comments down below if you made it all the way to the end of this video make sure you like this video subscribe to my page Hit that note bell down below so you never miss when I upload. My Twitter is in the descriptions too. Road to the final is on.